What's up everybody? I'm Dane with Remodeler's Life and today we're going to be doing a little head-to-head -head testing against these two saws. So, in corner number one we have the Makita XSH06. This is a 36 volt non-track ready. The 08 is the track ready saw. Um, but this is a very, very powerful seven and a quarter blade right sidewinder. It's got a magnesium base, magnesium here, yada yada. It does run on the two batteries, which are at this point fully charged. I am running them on two five O's. And the Challenger is DeWalt's brand new upgraded flex fold blade right seven and a quarter circ saw. This is running uh, with the kitted 9.0 right there. And I'm putting both blades, or both blades, I put brand new Diablo Demo Demons on here. Um, both saws come with their own perspective blade, which we have on the Makita, or the DeWalt, they have their new framing blades. And then on the Makita, which has been my saw for six months or so, well used blade is they have their max efficiency blades. But to keep this fair, to just show the power of both particular saws, we're gonna keep the same blade on each saw, brand new Demo Demons. So these are very good blades. If you don't use them, use them. They last forever, cut through everything. They're fantastic. So got a couple different things we're gonna cut through. Um, we're gonna do a typical rip in an LVL, something where if you gotta take a quarter inch or half inch off just to get it to fit in the space. Got some leftover LVL here. I don't know the length of this, but I'm just gonna make timed runs between the two of these saws on that. We're going to do full depth rips in some PT 4x4, and then I don't know what I'm going to do with this 2x12 SPF, but we'll do something there. So, we'll get to do some cutting, see how these things shake out. Alright, so we got the two saws, we're going to do some ripping, like I said, both are starting with the same blade, both are starting with freshly charged batteries. Um, the DeWalt has got the 9.0 flex bolt on it, fully charged. Makita's got two 5 O's that are fully charged as well. A um, couple noticeable differences on these saws are one, this Makita is way more compact front to back compared to the DeWalt. The DeWalt is heavier on the back end just simply because you got all this weight hanging here. But the big advantage of this saw, I haven't even made a single cut with it yet, is this saw is 47% more powerful than its previous generation. So I'm very, very curious to see how this thing does. The DeWalt bevels to 57 degrees up front. There's the lock. There it is. Which is pretty impressive. Makita bevels to 56 degrees. So they both have plenty of bevel to them as well. You got your standard head adjustment. The Makita does have the dust port collector right here. The DeWalt, it doesn't. No biggie. These are framing saws. They're not finished saws. Makita could be used more of a finish saw, but that's not what I use it for. Um, big thing too is the DeWalt has the rafter hook, which comes in very handy. The Makita does not. Both have on blade um, or on board tool to change out the blade. Makita's is right here. Nice little hex head with a little keeper. And the DeWalt is on the back side under here. And I put it in backwards, but Got a little angle in there so you can get in there nice and easy and, and get that without having to flip the guide out of the way. So, with that, we're going to make some cuts. We're going to start with the standard in my book right now, which is the Makita. We're going to make a single rip in this LVL and just see how it does. We're going to put the timer on these as well and see how it does, and then we'll move over the pressure treated 4x4 and do full depth rips in these with both of them. So, we're going to start on the hardest rip technically first one that you're normally going to do which is going to be the LVL with the brand new blades fully charged batteries we'll see how it do then we'll move over to the pressure tree 4x4 so start with the Makita let's make a cut Pretty impressive. That was nice and easy, didn't really bog down at all, made the cut the whole time. Now let's do the big bad DeWalt and see what it can do.
That's insane. That is so much more faster. More faster, does that make sense? Whatever, but that was quite impressive. That DeWalt's got some power to it for sure. So now let's go over to the pressure treat and do a full full depth rip on, rip on that. We're gonna start with the DeWalt this time, see how it does. Again, this is a full depth rip. We're just gonna bury the blade in there and see what it does. I'm gonna push the saw as much as I can and try and get it to stall out um, because that's what I'm trying to do is test the power of both of these saws. So let's get to it. That's awesome. That's, that is mighty impressive. Now let's see what the Makita can do. Already got one. So, made a lot of dust. Just within those two rips, I can absolutely confidently say that the Walt is hands down more powerful than the Makita. That's not to say the Makita is a bad saw by any means. It definitely has its place. You can actually upgrade this base and put the track ready base on that. The Walt doesn't have any options like that. And obviously this thing was throwing dust everywhere because there's not a port for it. There does seem to be a little screw hole right there where maybe you can add something down the road. But that's mighty impressive. So now we'll get this changed around. We'll switch over to the PT or to the SPF 2x12. We'll do some bevel rips with it. We'll do a couple bevel rips on this 2x12 here. We'll just throw these saws both over at their biggest bevel, which is 56 and 57 respectively. And we'll see how they do. Start with Makita. Let's lay it over. I got a couple 45 degree lines right here. So let's just cut and see how they do. No effort, no, no question, there's nah, no problem with that. There's what I'm trying to say. Now we'll throw the DeWalt over. Do the same rip. Same thing, no issue there, which is nice, but granted this is just regular two by 12, it's not the hardest thing in the world. Um, could cut this, flip this over and do a couple of rafter cheat cuts or something like that, but both of them had plenty of power to do the bevel cuts on this, so uh, you can't go wrong with either saw for sure. Uh, it all depends on your personal use and personal preference, but the new upgraded DeWalt is definitely a beast. All right, one more rip I want to try and do is I want to try and stall this thing because I was able to stall the DeWalt or the Makita in the 4x4, but LVLs. We know are hard, they're, they're quite tough to rip through. So I'm gonna push, push this as hard as I can and try and get this thing to stall out. There it is, it, it's not invincible. Oh, I got a nail there I'm caught on. So, it's not invincible, you can still stall it out, but it's still got a ridiculous amount of power. So I can't wait to see where DeWalt goes with this from here. I'm sure they're gonna put this on the rear handle. Their rear handle is already the most powerful one on the market from what I remember. Um, and if they can do that to this saw with this much upgraded power, you can only imagine where the rear handle is gonna go from there or what their other flexible technology is gonna do. So well done DeWalt, awesome, awesome tool.